morning, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. How about a return to center with the left hand? Comes with the right. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Not able to land the headshot. The Flash's defense is paying off now. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the Flash. Locks away that headshot. Wow, nice flush left hand. There it is. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Very nice defensive guard there. That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> the Flash is feeling the sting of that big uppercut. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Combo, combo. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the natural. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. The flash is coming off a round where he scored big. He scored the knockdown. I suppose right now he's got to think to himself, Teddy, how did I do that, and how can I do that again? He should think that to himself. That's what his corner's there for, to remind him. You know how you did it? Do it again. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. That is a sharp uppercut by the natural. Flash is proving to be elusive. The natural scoring with that right hand. The Flash's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. 
He's doing a really good job here of being patient. And patient with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you. Because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. you got to draw him into small punch so you can make a miss. Man, and then you have to alleyway the last time. The Naturals making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Halfway through round number two. The Flash's right hand scores well. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Focus, focus. Scores up top with a left. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This round can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. A huge uppercut by the Flash. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Come on, kid, focus. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. The Naturals punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. The Flash is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back at Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people good defense just covering up down low Tense hook landed by the Flash. Gets him with the right hand. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by the Natural. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. You're doing great. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. The Naturals well off the mark that time. Halfway through this round. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Not much action as he just ties up. Just an excessive oh, amount of holding here. Just much too much. Wow, what a massive shot by the net. And yet another big shot comes in. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A sharp hook to the head by the natural.
Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Relax. The Naturals able to land a good, solid left hand. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And we come to the end of the round. I want to see that counter hook. You are looking good, real good out here. Look at him, he's tired. He's real tired, he's got nothing left. Now listen, I need you to double up on your punches and keep that lead fired, all right? The flash is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Good shot to the head with that right hand. The flash has got his man off guard here. Just a good variety of punches he's bringing. Yeah, you don't want to be predictable, and he's not predictable. The Naturals putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Good effective work with that straight right hand. It's all right, keep moving, keep moving. Get him, get him. The Naturals in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. He's tired, he's tired. Big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Jump on it. Jump on it right now. I'm cut. Do that again. That looks good. Do that one more time. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. Really frustrating his opponent now. Big left hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end it right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Charles, not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.